uh, got unloaded into Cincinnati. It went pretty well. Um, they ended up prying off all that wood themselves. So I didn't have to sit there with a hammer and try and run it and stuff off. They had a giant crowbar and they took it off really easily. So that was a big plus. Um, we are headed down to Florence now. We're gonna pick up some insulation. And that's gonna be going up to Columbiana, Ohio, Northeast Ohio. And we'll be delivering, uh, I got a 9.30 appointment. Um, it's a crane unload, so we'll try and be up here a little bit earlier than that. But picked up here quite often. Usually pretty smooth process usually in, you know, get me loaded within an hour and strapping down and all that stuff can take a little bit of insulation, but should be out of there in a couple hours, so should be pretty, pretty straightforward. Still haven't booked anything for tomorrow, so I'm searching the load board right now and going to see if we can find something, but it's not looking very pretty out that way. I just came from out that way last week, so um, we'll see how it goes. All right, so we got we are loaded with insulation. Required a 53-foot flatbed um, because they stacked this extra stack on the back. Uh, probably a little over secured, but hey, better over secured than under secured. So, we are parked for the night at a 9 30 um, appointment tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go get a workout in and then eat dinner and call it a night. See you tomorrow. All right, so we got unloaded uh, in Columbiana, Ohio. Everything went pretty smooth. It was pretty quick. Luckily, those insulation unloads can be iffy, but they, they got that, this stuff right off my truck, um, basically right after I pulled in. So now we booked something, uh, found something going from uh, Manessa, Manessa, Pennsylvania to Danville, Indiana. It's about 4,000 pounds of pipe. Pays halfway decent. Uh, I have about a 90 mile deadhead down there, so we're on our way right now. All right, so we got unloaded in uh, Danville, Indiana, and we got a reload, pick it up in. Um, Crawfordsville, Indiana, going to Toledo, Ohio. So, um, there'll be two skinned coils, need to be tarped. Um, finishing up about a 40 mile deadhead to get there, and um, so we get the stuff on my truck and get to Toledo. Alright, so we are loaded here in Crawfordsville, Indiana. We got two skidded coils, 37,680 pounds. Pretty easy. Got them all strapped up. Decided to do the, do, to do the uh, Superman tarp with this tarp job. So we're gonna be Supermanning this to Toledo, Ohio. All right, so we picked up in Crawfordsville, Indiana, heading to Toledo, Ohio. We're gonna stop. I know a safe spot for the night. Planet Fitness in Holland, Ohio. Always a spot open in the back behind the Planet Fitness. Never get bothered. So, gonna have a workout and call it a day. Don't have a reload tomorrow for tomorrow yet. If I'm gonna get one, I'm not sure. It's gonna be a short week. I've got some uh, obligations for the weekend. Probably gonna take half a Thursday and um, Friday off, um, but 
we'll see if something else pops up on the board that gets me through the play, through the house and uh, can get me there at a reasonable time. Well, we might take it. So we'll see what happens. Gotta love that tarp job. Heck yeah. America, fuck yeah. All right, so we got a load picked up out of Columbus, Ohio, going to Berlin Center, Ohio. So we picked up an intrastate load. I uh, live, reside in Columbus, Ohio, so I have a uh, intrastate authority, so I can actually travel within the state. So found a decent, pretty good rate, actually. Couldn't really turn it down, so we booked this, and... Uh, only 12,300 pounds. Um, their scales, um, I think it's going to like a DOT highway patrol like state facility dropping it off at. Um, so that should be interesting. Make sure everything's uh, you know up to par as far as uh, DOT regulations go. But um, yeah, we're dropping it off first thing in the morning, 8 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, took a couple of days off, Monday and Tuesday off. Start the day on Wednesday. The beauty of being an owner-operator is, uh, you know, I work when I want uh, to some degree, right? As long as I can. But, uh, yeah, so we're starting the week off. Probably only be working about three days this week unless I decide to stay out over the weekend. We'll see what rates look like on Friday. But we'll probably just be, we just be doing a, you know, three-day week. Kind of an out-and-back triangle type of thing. We'll figure something out. So should be nice and easy. So this is what we got couple of four scales um, pretty simple four straps each got some edge protectors even though that's a curved edge it'll be all right I just decided to throw some on there um, the other edge is a little sharper so definitely need edge protectors on that but only 12,300 pounds Nice and light. Gotta love these interstate loads that, you know, pay six bucks a mile. But it was requiring a 53 foot flatbed, but it doesn't, obviously, doesn't require one. But hey, all good. I'll take it all day. All right, so we are in Warren, Ohio now. We got unloaded in Berlin Center. Ended up booking something, uh, another intrastate load going from Warren, Ohio to the Cincinnati area. Uh, just making it easy on myself, I guess. Uh, pays halfway decent. Um, and uh, yeah, so we had a little bit of issues there booking it. Um, the brokerage uses Highway, which is like a carrier vetting company. Uh, they try to prevent fraud in the industry. Um, but anyways, my ELD wasn't connecting to their system, so <clears throat> I wasn't able to, so the, the broker wasn't able to, to 
send me the rate con because of that. So I contacted Highway. They told me to contact my ELD provider. I called the ELD provider. They said everything's good with my, my ELD. I called Highway back. Um, and it ended up being, uh, they, they said that they're, they're not compatible anymore with, uh, with Omnitrax, which is my ELD provider. They said they're not working. For whatever reason, Omnitrax isn't updating their software or something like that. So it kind of sucks because I've got probably a, a good 50 plus brokers that I work with through Highway. But they had me call, talk to the broker, and um, they put in an exemption, and they got it bypassed. But it ended up taking like an hour and 20 minutes of like wasted time for like no reason, just sitting around, you know, whatever. Um, they're trying to make the industry better, but it was like, it makes things more complicated sometimes, and it's it can be a pain. But we got it taken care of. Um, we are picking up 45,000 pounds of skidded aluminum, so... Uh, should be pretty easy. We're waiting in line here. We're next up and let's get this stuff loaded. Stay safe out there.